Hey all, uh, we'll see how to execute Jython scripts in WebSphere in this class. Jython scripts uh, would be executed using uh, the tool uh, in uh, WebSphere. The tool is called WS Admin. Uh, there are around three types uh, which you can execute uh, Jython scripts. The first uh, method is um, interactive method. For that, uh, you should uh, log into Jython tool. And you can log in using this command ws admin hyphen lang jython. So you need to run uh, this command from the profile root. So <clears throat> I, I, I have navigated to the profile root, and uh, this is a profile root. Uh, this is a profile I'm having. So. I'm running this command. Yeah. So see, you can see the console now. Instead of this path, it went to the uh, WS admin, uh, WS admin tool. So let us execute uh, one command. This is. Uh, just a help command uh, to see the features of the command admin help. So this is a syntax uh, to see all the features of this command admin app. So if you want to know uh, all the existing commands in uh, WS admin tool, you can just google it uh, saying uh, WS admin commands um, in web sphere. So then you will get all the commands. So these are all the commands uh, available uh, in this tool. So for just practice purpose, how to execute, we'll just see about admin app. So if I execute uh, this, you will find out the features of admin app command. So these are all the features of uh, this admin app command and uh, so it, it can this command can install the application update the application uninstall the uh, uninstall the application rename the application so let us just see the list uh, means list means lists all install application in this profile so this profile in this profile uh, let us check through admin console first in this profile i'm having these three applications installed so you can um, you can see the profile name as app sr03 this is a profile name and these three applications are installed on it so So if you run this command print admin app dot list, it should show the all existing applications in this profile. So I'm using the list for the admin app. So earlier uh, we just we have just seen the features of admin app. So now uh, let us see uh, one of the feature of admin app. So it's a dot. I'm using dot list. So let let me execute it. see it is showing there are three apps installed in this profile yes these are the three apps installed in this profile and let us uh, see uh, the next method to execute the same command so this is uh, i have shown you the interact interactive method by logging into ws admin you can come out of this ws admin and you can directly run the command uh, from the bin i mean from the vas profile root directly from profile root uh, and the profile root bin you can execute the command so let us for that the syntax is you should use hyphen c so the first this part is same uh, like it's like it will uh, open the ws admin tool and then if you use hyphen c 
uh, it will execute this command admin uh, admin app dot list so I am um, in just profile root and let me execute the command Yeah, so it so it, this command executed and show the results show the results of existing applications. And the only difference is here it is uh, instead of giving in the separate separate line, it is just uh, separating with R. So later on, you can update the query uh, for the output, but as of now with this command, it is separating with slash R and it is showing the result. So it is showing default application the next of next app ivt app and the next app query so it is separating with slash r and slash n well uh, so in short uh, you can execute uh, the commands uh, directly from profile root uh, by by using this in this syntax and let us see uh, the third method uh, to execute uh, Python scripts. So for third method, uh, you can write a script uh, in separate file, and you can uh, give that script uh, file name or a script file name and with path, so that uh, you can execute uh, the script. So here I'm having a sample script with the sa for the same command. Say uh, this. So I'm writing the uh, script uh, with file name alproof.py and this is, this is the content of the script this is all this also does the same thing it lists the existing application of profile let me open and show you the script yeah. this is a script sorry let me open it using notepad okay yeah, so this is a script. Uh, the script file name is alproof.py, and this is the contents. This is just a short script. Say, suppose the script is having around 500 uh, lines. In such case, it becomes easy to execute uh, directly by inputting uh, the script name. So this is being just an example. I I wrote only one uh, line script. So let me execute uh, this script. So the third method, yeah. So here I have used hyphen profile, and I gave uh, the complete uh, script path. So let me execute it. And for I'm sorry, I did not copy it. Okay. Yeah. So let me execute it. Yeah, it is showing the result. It has showed the existing applications in this profile. So let me rewind. Uh, we have just seen how to execute our uh, Jython scripts. So the first method I, I logged into the uh, WS admin tool uh, using uh, this WS admin hyphen lang Jython command. And there I executed uh, this command admin app dot list. And I showed the existing applications in this profile, and I came out of uh, AWS Admin tool. And I using commands, I can uh, execute directly from the profile root. So uh, this this is you can use hyphen c c option, and uh, you can execute directly uh, AWS Admin commands uh, from the from the uh, profile root. 
and the third method if you have a script uh, with many lines you can input the script file uh, directly by keeping hyphen profile so this is uh, this is how you execute Jython scripts in WebSphere environment I'm done with the class uh, if you want to learn a uh, WebSphere administration and if you want to uh, view complete co-administration course you can check my channel's playlist and uh, you, can, you can subscribe to this channel uh, if you want to uh, get more videos in near future about WebSphere thank you for watching this video bye bye